Just 30 years ago, a worldwide event known as the Black Mesa Incident introduced a flurry of new wildlife across the planet. For decades, these species have fascinated scientists and admirers from afar. Today, we'll get an up-close look as we celebrate the natural wonders of Zen wildlife that prosper on our planet. In Eastern Europe, surrounded by the largely ungoverned wastelands, lay City 17. Towering at some 2.5 kilometers high, the citadel is being constructed. However, it wasn't always like this. Before the Seven Hour War, Human beings infused the bustling streets of this city with grand architecture that echoes hope. Recently added to these buildings are advanced electrical infrastructures. Tucked away in the basement of an old hotel, we find an unlikely creature. the galvanic carnis, or electric dog. A long tail houses a cluster of arthropodal ocelli, allowing it to see the outside world, while its vital organs remain hidden. Despite their diminutive size and skittish behavior, their leather-like skin affords ample resistance in the harshest conditions. He spits out a thick cloud of camouflage to slip under the radar. Soon the Galvanicus will leave its home and find an equally electrifying mate for the oncoming winter. Head crabs. These alien organisms are smarter than they may appear. By leaping up to three meters in any given direction, they attach themselves to the skull of a host. They gain full control of the nervous system for up to five years. If left undisturbed, the head crab can then grow a solid shell that protects it for the long life ahead. This is a sanctuary for barnacles. Dangling cords catch unsuspecting prey below until sudden death. Large rows of teeth bite and digest what they catch. Given enough time, these barnacles can connect and create a thriving ecosystem. In ideal conditions, they can bloom to such an extent that miles of terrain are covered. Ultimately terraforming the planet to match the conditions found on their home. This is a message for anyone still alive and watching. Only with global cooperation can our planet recover and thrive once again. The time is, is, is now. Join the resistance. It is our only hope. 